Okay, so we are at camp. We're gonna get set up and we'll be back with you guys when we get camp set up. Just because it's dark, you're not gonna miss much. There it is. She's all put together. This is a big setup. We did the, we used the truck, <laughs> cheated and used the truck lights to shine on the shelter to get her up and going. But I'll show you guys what we got going inside since we get the stove put up. Got it? There you go. Got light going on, cots going together, cot going together. I better go get mine now. I got the little fan going. I had to purchase another fan because I bent my last one. Um, I got the same one that has that kind of cool flame pattern, but stand up here and show you guys what we got going on. Dorian's over here rocking out on his bed. Here's my cot. Here's Keegan's cot. You can still see our breath a little bit, but we just got the heater going. So here's our wood. Um, I'm staying, I'm literally like leaning over a piece of Reflectix because I'll kind of set here in this area and clean my hidden woodsman pack. Really kind of it right now. We got our table set up over here with our food. Um, yeah, not a lot going on tonight. We're going to watch a movie and we are just going to hang out and chill and make some food. Okay. So we've got some brats going on here. Some better cheddar brats. And some salsa con queso. Um, this is setting in some water here. So that way we don't scorch it up too much. And it's a quick dinner tonight. Our plans are to, to eat this, enjoy it, and watch a movie. So that's the goal. And believe it or not, I'm going to already have to start turning these. They're already starting to make some noise. Your tablet. Fire's blazing. Let's grab one of these dogs. cheese on it yeah. let's get the uh, let's get the other scoop let's get the spoon that way it's easier to get the cheese on for you oh yeah ooh cheese doggy alright here's one all right, here we go. Dog. And cheese. All right, look at that thing. Go ahead for the first bite, guys. Ooh. What do you think? Yeah? What do you think? Cheese dogs, are they for a win? And I steamed the buns too much. Steaming the buns too much. Steaming the buns too much. Alrighty. Are you ready, Freddy? Here comes your dog. All right, squeeze it, and then I'll grab it. Oh, good job. All right, cheese. Come on over. Oh, we got it. Good job. All right, Keegan. There's a little bit coming out the back. Be careful. Whoa. <laughs> All right, you got it. Enjoy. I love cheese. <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. Good. 
This is my Trangia kit that I've been working on. I bought it uh, anniversary edition that I bought used. And I've just been adding to it to make it more more my lifestyle. I think it's pretty awesome. But I keep my kettle in here as well. Fry pan. Cutting board strainer. And everything else you need. But we gotta have our tea. Lid. <clears throat> well, it seems like it got a little windy last night, which is cool. We're going to go over here to the, uh, hopefully we're going to go over here to the well and rinse out our dishes from last night and get some water. The wells are always on here because they run below the frost line. Ooh. She's dirty. She's dirty. <laughs> I'm coming over from a sinus infection, but I couldn't not go camping. I've been wanting to go camping for the last couple weeks, but I've been sick. So I feel good. I feel great, actually. I just sound like garbage, but I do feel wonderful. All right. You guys have a view of this. This place, there's not a lot going on here. There we are. Other than that, empty, frozen water. I'm not going to turn the water on high. I'm not about trying to splash myself with a bunch of water when it's below freezing out. Waiting for this cup of tea for like two weeks. With the boys in the tent at the stove. Gonna do some breakfast. I wanna do it outside. So, got a podcast in. I'm gonna prep some food out here. Before we can do that, I want to keep the boys warm before we can do that. Get this fire pit rocking and rolling over here. I've got all these sticks all over. And I'm going to just fill this pit up with them so I can get a nice coal bed in here.
right we're gonna let that burn down to coals and then we're gonna get cooking some food on it just a little breakfast it it's actually gotten colder um, but it's so peaceful out here and quiet yeah here's our setup said before this is just the one tigress oh that's why she's a little loose feeling she came unhooked this is the uh, one tigress hammock hot tent and I didn't realize that came loose <laughs> so I'm gonna reconnect it okay there we go. Now we've got that restaked back out. It's a really cool setup. You can actually run your your hammock lines in here, run your hammock from the tree, and your hammock will hang across on the inside. It's really cool. We just put these uprights up, just kind of give it more stability uh, when it's windy out. It was a little windy last night. It did get windy. Uh, overnight but not too bad what I like about this is this is a really affordable large setup and there's so much more I actually have it up higher off the snow skirts but if I wanted to I could lower it down I could even add more into here and pull it out this way and they're pretty heavy duty but I could even pull it out more to give it more stability. I even thought about making uh, just a frame for it that I could just put together and make it standalone. There's a lot of possibilities with this setup, but I really do enjoy it. I like it for the fact that I've got three beds or three cots in there, a stove, a table, and just been hanging out. And you can stand up in it. I'm only, I'm only 5'10", but... I said say 5'10", I'm 5'10 on a good day. I'm probably closer to more 5'9". It's pretty good, huh? Just love it. Look at that go. Yeah. Yep. Get a coal bed. I brought my uh, cast iron Dutch oven. It's over here in the pickup truck. It's over here in, in the dirty, dirty pickup. While that's cooking, cooking down, which is gonna be a while, I am gonna go ahead and start getting this guy prepped up. Came back in the hot tent uh, to get the food, and it is booming hot in here. Look at that guy. I actually had the door cracked open a little bit too. But just smoking. Are you nice and toasty, Dorian? He looks like he's awake, but he's not. His head's here. He's sleeping. <laughs> oh boy. So it's looking pretty foggy out there. Pretty overcast. Looks like it's supposed to get some light rain in the next hour. And then in two hours, it's supposed to start raining pretty hard. So. What I'm going to act, oh, and then we're going to get some snow tonight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this food outside prepped. And I'm actually going to probably start getting these guys awake. And uh, start getting the hot tent dismantled, like the inside stuff. We'll leave the stove in for a while, let it keep burning. But just so we're not stuck getting everything in the rain, you know what I mean? So, it started to rain on me. I'm going to uh, get the food prepped and get the dutchie put in here. I'm letting these coals cook down 
And uh, I should have brought charcoal. Priority would have been done with the food by now, but I didn't bring charcoal this time, and I'm making my own coals. Do a medium spice pork sausage. Gonna get it cut up. Add some potatoes. You know, I'm supposed to be doing some some meetups with some other people. To do some some camping and maybe some more Dutch oven cooking so this is literally just a meal that I grabbed some spicy sausage um, I was gonna put some bacon in it but we got enough meat <laughs> bacon does always make everything better I know I know but in the Dutch when you're doing this you have to put the bacon um, like in the bottom ish so I don't want to ruin you know what I'm gonna put bacon in it <laughs> put it off to the side not too terribly bad I guess so I can get the bacon on the bottom Because when you put the bacon on the bottom, it, uh, just try not to make too much of a mess. Didn't think this one too far out. I normally always try to think them out pretty good, but by putting bacon on the bottom, it gets crispy. And I thought to myself, how good it tastes when it is down there. So, line the bottom with bacon. Like so. That's enough. This is only an eight, so you can't put too much down in there. Now we'll carefully put all this back in. It's so cold that even though the stuff was really, really hot a moment ago, it's already cooling down. There, now we got our our bacon on the bottom, potatoes, and spicy sausage. I love to have an onion in here, and I left an onion at home too. But I do have seasoning. Some Italian seasoning. Pepper. We'll do a little bit of salt. Pepper. We like pepper. Italian seasoning. And a little bit of garlic powder. How about that? Why not? This is garlic powder, not garlic salt. There we go. And as eat, let's go rearrange these coals so we can get this guy put in here. And let me show you what she looks like. nice okay okay so there you go I've got the little duchy under there with my logs of ember they're sitting on a bed of embers so I'm gonna only give it about 15 minutes and then check it instead of 30 like I normally do just because there's a lot of heat going on down there and you always try to keep the heat on the top so it'll work its way down. I moved that guy up to the side just because I didn't want him down along the side of the Dutch oven giving it more heat than it needed. Up on top is okay. Down there, 
No, no. No, no. Gotta have tea. Pulled that stuff off, so we're gonna go ahead and get our eggs in here. the eggs we're gonna let her set for three minutes we're not gonna pull the lid off yet until I get the boys out of bed perfect we're gonna keep the heat in there though and let it sit until the boys are ready. Since it's fairly cold out still, the boys asked to eat in the hot tent. So we will compromise and I will bring them food in the hot tent. So cheesy, so nice. Get it off the sides there. All right. Oh boy, looks great. Let's go. All right, they're up, they're awake, and they're gonna eat some breakfast. All right, guys, give me my first bite rule. It's spicy sausage in the scramble. Mm. What do you think, Dorian? Good. Good? Yeah? It's nice and cozy in here, guys. It's like 80 degrees in here. Look at that thing. Anything's good in the morning. Look at that. Oh, cheesy. So we are done eating breakfast. We've been hanging out. Kids have done their morning constitutions. We've been trying to let the stove burn out, but it has just been rocking and rolling. We've just been hanging out at camp, reading and joking around with each other and having a good time, which is what this is all supposed to be about. So we're going to start getting packed up here soon. We'll see you guys, but we'll probably say bye before we get out of here. Will we say goodbye? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to say goodbye before we get out of here. So this is our second fan. So I decided this go around just to keep it in the box when we pack it because it's Keeps it protected. We damaged the fin last time when we had it all packed up. I'm sure they make cases for them and stuff, but this is just as cheap. It works fine. Because <laughs> this thing right here is very, very useful. Oh, and look, it's time to do the dishes. Boys are in there cleaning up camp right now. I love that the tent opens all the way up in the front if you want it to. And the stove's still burning really, really hard. So, yep, they're cleaning up. They're at that age where I don't do that for them. They take care of it. So here is the size of this bad boy all, all emptied out here. We're just waiting for the stove to burn down a little bit. We'll go ahead and we'll remove our windscreen and We'll take our, our flame cloth or our flame mat down and um, then we'll probably empty the stove out the rest of the way inside and then we'll just get pour water over our coals because there's still quite a bit left and honestly could keep us here for a few hours. But we're pretty much packed up so we want to get going home. It It's raining on and off on us now and I'd like to get the tent down before it gets too saturated. We have to hang it for three days to dry. <laughs> the tent? Yeah. It's not bad because it's been sprinkling on us enough that it's been airing out that it's actually fairly dry. So unlike our winter well, 
system. This one uh, doesn't just like pop down, but it is fairly easy to store everything away. Oh, before I put anything away, uh, these little side pans have to go inside. everything just drops inside. This is uh, really big on the inside, so you don't have to worry too much about everything fitting or not fitting. The only thing you have to worry about is there's a, a glass side. So. you get it locked in it has a handle I think this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen though there's a glass side here but then there's a handle on this side which puts all the weight on the glass it's weird but you know what it's pretty good burning little stove you're a mustache all right, well, we are all packed up. We are officially cleaned up, I should say. And Hands are kind of cold. And it just started to rain. So we beat the rain. So that means that our hot tent is actually in here and it's all folded up and nice and dry. Um, it was sprinkling on us all day, but since the hot tent was so warm on the inside, it uh, kept the tent dry. So when we took it down, it was dry, which is a rarity when we go hot tenting. So it's cool to have a, a dry tent. But we will see you guys all in the next one. Thank you so much for coming along and hanging out with us. I don't even know what we did for video because we just spent a lot of time hanging out. But we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Oh, I mean, bye. Bye con Dios. Adios. But not hola. Hola. <laughs> bye. I'm failing Spanish. <laughs> you are not.